All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about the IP address binary and how to do the mathematics behind that for each octet, right? So we're actually going to talk about how to do this, and this can be used for the IP address binary, and it can be used also for the subnet, so keep that in mind. Now, I want to actually explain this. The reason behind this is because in the world of automation, in the world of PLCs and and controls and stuff like that, we often forget about our main communication source now is Ethernet. And even that being said, is the next protocol is Wi-Fi, right? So we have to understand the way the ITOT convergence is actually happening in the in controls environment. So it's best to understand the way that we're doing are and understand the way the communication is done. And that's basically breaking down your decimal form of your IP address to a binary form of your IP address. So real quick, what I've done is I've made an application, a Factory Talk Site Edition application that we will be using to show different IP, or different IP addresses that we put in and how they're calculated. I've also made a simple um, notepad file right quick we'll do an example of 192.168.0.1 so each octet is going to be done now the very first octet we'll talk about is 192 and right here now we have to ask ourselves, and I want to actually talk about the way the binary is broken down so there's eight bits inside of a binary inside of uh, the IP address right so there's eight single bits now in those eight bits you have a base two element, right? So it's basically two. So in this case, two to the power of zero would be would be one, right? Because uh, any number to the power of itself or to the power of zero is one. Now, two to the power of one is going to be two. Two to the power of uh, three or two is going to be four. Two to the power of three is going to be eight. 2 to the power of 4 is going to be 16. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 6 is going to be 64. And 2 to the power of 7 is going to be 128. So with that said, that is the way we list out our binary, right? We actually have uh, the whole scheme that we're going to keep. And the way that the, that's listed for the way that IP addresses are done is the two uh, one, 128, 64, 32, uh, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. Now again, that's standard binary, but it, when it comes down to it, these is, this is the first 8 bits of the binary that we're using. So how do we actually do the math behind that? So we have 192. So first we have to, have to ask ourselves, can 128 be subtracted from 192? And of course it can. So what we're doing is we're subtracting 128 minus um, we have uh, actual, we have uh, 192 minus 128. This leaves a remainder of 64. Then we take our remainder and we say, what is the next element of the base two elements that we can actually, you know, take uh, subtraction from, right? And the in this case, it's pretty simple. 64 can be subtracted from 64, so it leaves us with a the remainder of zero. So we're completely finished with that one. We're done with that one. So let's drag this down. And look at our binary. So the binary behind that, the eight bits behind that, that decimal, 192, right? The decimal form of that, that octet, is going to be 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now that's going to be all eight bits. Now let's go ahead and do the second octet, right? Which is going to be 168. This is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to actually come in here and do the math behind that. Again, this is the second octet, right? So one, uh, 168, we have to ask ourselves again, can 128 be subtracted from 168? Of course it can, with a remainder of 40. Now, in this case, we, we have to ask ourselves, can 64 be subtracted from 40? Of course it cannot. So we're gonna keep that as a no. Basically, that's going to be, remain a zero. Anytime it's a yes, it's going to be a one. Anytime it's a no, it's going to be a zero. Now this is a very simple way of doing the math and it's a real um, easy way to understand it, right? So the remainder, again, is six, is 40 in this case. So we have to ask ourselves, can 32 be subtracted from 40? Yes, it can. So we put that as a yes and we then we do the math behind that. We leave a remainder of eight. 
So we can't do 16 minus 8. That's a no. Six, uh, we do 8 minus 8. That's a yes. Okay, so then we're done, basically, because we have no remainder. So as soon as we hit 0, we're finished, right? Okay, so when we come down here, the binary, uh, all 8 bits for the binary of that second octet, right, is going to be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Right, that's all 8 bits. Now the, the third one is pretty simple. A zero is always going to be a zero because we can't do any math behind it. So that, that's showing that right there. So let's pull this down just a little bit. The fourth one is a one. I think that's pretty simple. One uh, can only go against it or be subtracted from itself. So that's going to be, all these are going to be no. And this is going to be yes. So one minus one is zero. So the binary for that is zero is the, first, the last bit it is, is uh, actually a 1. Right, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right, so 192, 168, 0, 1 is this, that's the binary form of that. Now again, why does that matter? Because that's the way your computer talks to everything, right? To the world, to different things, to actually, matter of fact, to all your networks, right? When it goes to your computer, then it goes to layer two and then layer three, we, that's all this information is passed. Of course, there's different things added to it, like your subnet and your gateway of that nature. But when it comes down to it, think about just understanding this base principle will help you understand the way the topology works, how things are, are really breaking, broken down as far as the ITOT convergence and just understanding binary altogether. So let's look at the, the uh, math behind this again and do a couple more examples on the HMI app because I built some logic to actually go in and use this. Now again, I could have went the cheap and easy route of actually just doing the decimal form and changing that to a binary form. Of course, that is an easy way to do that because the, the computer language already does that for us. But again, that would be cheating because we're trying to learn here. And we're trying to actually understand the math and to do that, we have to use that base two principle of the binary code. So I've broken down and added a little small, like a chart, if you would, on this actual uh, HMI application. So I have a submit button, a load button, and a clear button. So currently, we'll clear everything out. Let's put in 10, uh, 15, we'll put in 88 for this example, and then we'll do uh, 1675 uh, okay so at that point I have a, a little pop over uh, a little thing over here that I, I pick so that I can get off of the highlighted version now again I, I just quickly threw this together this HMI app together so you could see it so at this point we want to load it in there okay so we're gonna load this in there which loaded in our IP address of 10 15 88 175 all right so we're going to hit submit and when we hit submit this chart will will populate okay so we'll hit submit that loaded in our bits you actually seen some of the logic working behind you but so we need to ask ourselves can 10 the very first octet we have right 10 this is going to be the first one all right so we the we have to break it down to the the, the very first element can be used which is an eight right so that's the very first element that's going to transition from a zero to a one because we can do the math behind that eight can go minus or eight can be subtracted from ten all right so then the next one is four is the remainder can that be subtracted no so that's going to remain a zero the other remainder is two obviously two plus eight um, is going to be ten so that get, leaves us with a firm under understanding of that so the binary for the first octet is zero 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 one zero one zero so let's look at the second one 15 the very first one we can't uh, can't do 16 minus 15 obviously so we have to do 8 uh, so 8 is our first one we can do then the remainder can that go uh, can 4 be subtracted from the remainder of course can uh, from the rema remainder of that can 2 be subtracted of course it can and then the last one is 1 so the binary for the second octet is zero 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 one 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 all right so let's look at the third octet right and i actually put um yeah this is the third octet right here so we're looking in this area that's 88 okay 
So we have to look at this. Uh, okay, and 128 we can't do. 64 we can subtract 64 on uh, uh you know from 88. So basically that's going to transition from a zero to a one. The remainder 32 no. The remainder uh, still has enough to do 16. So 16 minus the remainder is a one. We're going to transition our our we're going to transition that from a zero to a one, and then. Uh, we're gonna look at the remainder from there and can the remainder, can we subtract eight from the remainder? Yes, we can. And that ends that one. So the third octet of that is going to be zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, zero. Now, on the next one, which is the fourth octet, is going to be one, uh, seven, five, right? So 175. So we have to ask ourselves, can 120 or 128 be subtracted from 175? Of course it can. Is the remainder, can we do six, with the remainder from that, that, that small mathematical equation, can that be, um, can we subtract 64 from that? No, we cannot. Can we subtract 32 from that? Yes, we can. Can we subtract 16 from the remainder of that? No. And then eight from the remainder? Of course we can. Four, we, we can. Two, we can. And one, we can. So the fourth octet for that in binary is going to be one, zero, one, zero, one, 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 one. Now the down here on the very bottom, I put in the binary IP address outcome, which is going to show exactly what it is. So let's clear all this data and let's do another one. Let's do, let's just do something random, like something you, you wouldn't necessarily expect, like a 20, uh, uh, 18 um, and then we'll do like a 45 and then we'll do 10 okay so we've cleared the data let's load the data all right so let's submit the data and then that shows that so the very first one was 20 obviously 16 can go into uh, be subtracted from 20 and the remainder of 2 or remainder of 4 from that so then 4 minus 4 is obviously that so that first octet again is zero 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 one zero one zero zero so you kind of get the way the, the the system works right you kind of get exactly how to break down each octet and that's that's the important side of understanding and it's basically so for some people this is very entry level right some people they've already surpassed this right um, some people haven't so that's why I basically want to make this video to kind of help people out and again, let's, if we come down to another example, 192, uh, 168, which is our generic, uh, basically that's, that's generally a pass through that, that Rockwell uses. Uh, and let's just do 25, or let's just do something, let's do 240. Okay, so we'll pick this over here just to get, kind of get off of that. Uh, let's clear the data. Okay, let's load the data and let's submit the data. All right, so then come in and we get our our first octet is one one zero 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 zero. Second octet is one zero one zero one zero zero zero. All right. The third octet is zero 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 one, and the fourth octet is one 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 zero 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 zero. So that's the way you break down the way the the transition of the base two elements of binary from using your IP addresses right you get eight bits per octet and then you break down the math from that using the base two elements so I just want to kind of give you a, a nice sense of how to do that in a, an easy understandable video to get your your mind wrapped around it and maybe some practice implementation that you can do yourself you can easily write this down on a piece of paper and do all kind of math from it right so you don't necessarily need an application, but I did this for educational purposes to help everybody understand. And the, the code behind this is fairly simple. It's just really just uh, checking the octet, right? Each octet and going down, checking them in sequential order to verify that the remainder can be subtracted from itself, or if it can't, then it moves on to the next one. So it's, it's really, really, really simple logic. I also put this in an add-on instruction as well. So I can use this as an add-on instruction as well. And I'll show you that if I add a rung in here, I did an add-on instruction here, but I did not uh, tend to use that in this video because I wanted to actually kind of show, not necessarily show the 
the use of the logic behind this as much as I want to actually populate the actual um, and under uh, a good understanding of the base two elements and binary breakdown of each octet inside of an IP address. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and we'll see you guys on the next one.